Good morning, Hornet. I'm Maria, along with Mike and Justin with today's morning announcements. Today is Monday, May 21st, and today in 1881 in Washington, D.C., humanitarians Clara Barton and Adolphus Solomons found the American National Red Cross, an organization that continues to provide humanitarian aid to victims of wars and natural disasters. The girls' volleyball meeting has been changed to Tuesday, May 22nd, after school in room 224. Anyone interested in playing must attend. Please see Coach Robert Tazi with any questions. Just a reminder, to attend the prom, you must be off social probation by May 25th and by June 8th to attend PVHS graduation ceremony. This Wednesday and Thursday is the annual art show. PVTV's Kevin Rada has produced a piece about the art show fundraiser to support our Unity Garden. Let's go to the tape. The classes of um, sculpture and ceramics have been working on self-watering planters. The self-watering planters basically have the bigger pot itself and then it has a smaller chamber which goes inside the pot. The inside chamber where the smaller pot goes, it's basically porous, it doesn't get glazed. Glazed is basically the color added to the ceramic piece after it's fired. The self-watering planters was basically an idea I had from Mr. Meineke. He did them last year from the art show and I wanted to give it a try this year so I had my sculpture students try it out as well as the ceramics students did it as well. We're selling them at art show so there'll be a table during the day that they can, you know, if someone's interested, go and look at them and if they would like to purchase them, they can. At night, we'll also be selling them from 7 to 9 during the art show. Um, so if anyone's interested, they can come down. Uh, the art show is going to be May 23rd. So we're really excited and we have a really great show this year. So we're just hoping that we have a lot of people that come out and look at these. It should be a really great, wonderful, new fundraiser. Any money that we get from this is going to go back to the garden, either you know buying soil or plants or wood to help, you know, elaborate the garden and the courtyard. No matter which way, if people buy them or if they don't get sold, they're going to be used in some way, somehow. Great job on that piece, Kevin. I'm looking forward to seeing the artwork produced by our fellow students. Today, there will be an AVTV club meeting after school in the PVTV room. All members should attend. Have you lost your student ID? If so, then listen up. There is a new procedure to get a replacement ID. First, you need to buy a new ID at the business office, then you take your proof of purchase to the attendance office during second period to have your new ID printed. Do not go to Mr. Rotel's office or to PVTV. There will be an environmental club meeting on Wednesday, May 23rd at 2.40 in room 108. We will be working in the Unity Garden, so please come prepared. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Goodman or Mr. Sanders. Now to Justin with sports. Thanks, Mike. Congratulations to the members of the girls lacrosse team for their honors in the conference. First team all-conference, American South, Catherine Bennett and Mariah Tovar. Second team all-conference, Trinity Towrock, and honorable mention, Nell Grabowski. Congratulations, Hornets. Today, girls lacrosse is away at South Plainfield, baseball is away at Montville, and softball is home against Morris Hills. That's all for sports. Now to Mike with the weather. Sunny today with a high of 78 and a low of 57. That's the buzz. Have a great day, Hornet.